Manuel Bohorquez spoke to one Florida family navigating the red tape. He was full of life. He yes. has more energy than me. And me too. <laughs> I did not expect that at all. I thought Alexandra Hanau's father, Ricardo Zamudio, died last year from COVID-19. And that's the cause listed on his death certificate. So she's eligible for up to $9,000 in FEMA funeral assistance, a big help for these working parents. For us, financial-wise, it'll be a good help, but at the same time, money don't mean anything. We honestly wish we had our parents back, of you course. know, more than anything. Oscar Hanau's father, Oscar Sr., died six months later at 82. The day before he died, I had the opportunity to actually hold him, see him, kiss him, and thank him for everything he has done. They say he died from COVID-19 after testing positive weeks before his death. He was COVID-19, but it wasn't on the death certificate. What happened there? Honestly, I didn't know what happened because they asked, they, when the funeral home asked us, you know, what he died from, they verified it, everything was, you know, COVID-19 but it wasn't placed on the death certificate. FEMA's $2 billion assistance program is the largest of its kind in the nation's history. But eligibility is strictly limited to loved ones who present death certificates, stating the death was caused by, may have been caused by, or was likely a result of COVID-19. It is a process, and in that process, one step is to make sure that COVID-19 is mentioned on the death certificate. Mark Pansiera, a partner at Boyd Pansiera Family Funeral Care, has been guiding families through the FEMA process, including helping to amend death certificates. Your part could be considered done here, but some families are still coming back to you to say, hey, can we get a little more help? This just adds another element in it, and we want to be that guide on the side, if you will, for the family. Earlier this month, FEMA Administrator Deanne Criswell told CBS News that the process is intentionally rigorous to protect against fraud. We've put controls in place to make sure that we can identify that and try to reduce any potential opportunities for people to take advantage of that program when they shouldn't be.